nobody's in yet, so I'm going to use this time to see if I can post this, post the link. Hello everyone, hang on, uh, let's see here. All right, hey, we've already got people in here. Hello, hello, hi David, hi Dim Guts, uh, Josiah, Player 3 Productions. Hey, nice to see you guys. Uh, the, the, the show's starting here in just a minute. Ho Hoodie Coco, see, that is catching on, it's catching on. Uh, hang on a second. I need to grab the link for this and see if I can uh, put it in Facebook uh, and on Twitter. And stop. Hold on. Hang on. Show will start here in just a second. I swear there will be a show. Hang on. Hello, JJ. Hello, sick boy. Hello, James. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I assume that your audio is good and you can hear me. Uh, I do have a neighbor playing uh, country music in the background. If that offends anybody, I understand. I'm on your side. All right. While I'm working on posting that, uh, I got a couple things with me. I have a... Um... Hi, Bradley. Um, I have a... You didn't miss anything, Isaac. I got a nice cold uh, Pepsi-Cola here in a glass bottle. Uh, and I have peanuts. So we're going to do this like we did in the old neighborhood. All right. There we go. This is how we always used to do it. Peanuts and Pepsi. Now, for some of you, that may sound awful. But um, it is. But still, it's a thing that I like. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, post this here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Mm -hmm. uh, and post. There we go. Isn't this riveting stuff? Hey, I've got, uh, for everybody that showed up on time, for everyone who was on time for class, um, I've, got, uh, I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm going to unbox in this video, stuff that was sent to me this month. There is a lot. Um, I was actually thinking of doing that next week, but there's so much, and I want to show it to you. Hold on a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what I got here. I'm going to show you the pile, okay? All right. See all that? All of that we are going to open up. Now, I've, for the most part, I've, I, I did open a lot of it uh, already because I just couldn't help myself. I, I, uh, um, uh, I, I, just, I just couldn't wait. Uh, but some of the stuff that uh, I got this month is amazing. You, it's going to blow your mind. Uh, oh, hi. We, yes, the dog's over there, too. We, we want to not open the dog. The dog will be safe. All right. Ah, ah. There we go. It's okay. Didn't damage anything. We're good. We're good. Okay. Um, Twitter. Uh, let's see. Live, everyone. Live. Okay. 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 All right. Now. Now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we got uh, we got our Pepsi. We got our peanuts here. We got um, everything that we need to get started. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying uh, the event this month. Uh, I've been enjoying it. Um, I, I gotta, I gotta take one minute to, to talk about that. I mean, Cobra Convergence this month ha has just been t people enjoy it. Um, but um, uh, I mean, the 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 participants this year have they've all 
done, give an extra effort. Um, all the videos that they produce for the uh, event um, has uh, uh, they've they've done more. They've gone above and beyond, you know, their their usual, um, and I've been very appreciative of that. Um, and I, 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 I'm every time I do one of these, you know, I always, you know, I, I kind of fret and I worry, you know, is, is it going to be done on time? You know, is uh, is it going to be, you know, something that's uh, that that's acceptable? Are people going to, you know, put their best effort forward? But they always do. They always do. And it, I should expect that they would because the the people that participate in these. You know they're good at what they do. You know they run their own YouTube channel. They have their own audience, and so um, they. Uh, I should expect that they know how to make good videos, and, and then they do. Um, so um, I've been I've been very much enjoying the event. I hope everyone else is too. Um, next year there's some folks. I I wish I could have included this year, uh, um, but next year I'm definitely going to get them in. Uh, but. Um, I want it to be a bigger event next year. I want to include more creators, more contributors. Um, I also want to organize it a little bit better so that everybody uh, can keep better track of you know what uh, what's happening. Hi, Rob. Um, something you want to make? Um, okay. All right. Thanks, Rob. I'll look for that email. Um, I. <laughs> A non review on a Nanjo toy for fun. I uh, I have a couple that I thought might be fun to review. Um, um, uh, oh, a video like Retro Blasting did. Um, I'd like to. Um, I uh, it, Susan has actually uh, brought that up. Uh, so she she thought it might be fun to do that kind of thing. So um, as time permits, I may, I may try to look uh, at that. Hi, Dennis. Hey, it's Dennis Peterson. How are you doing, sir? Uh, okay. Uh, and I, I've got a lot to show you guys. Um, uh, I've got a lot to show you guys, and uh, it's, uh, it's the, I might as well get started, okay? Uh, this is all stuff that um, has been sent to me just this month. And uh, I have to apologize. I've got mosquitoes and bugs like flying around. This is, I'm doing this out here because this is actually the only space that I have enough room um, and that I won't get a lot of interruptions uh, from people inside. So I just have to do it out here for now. So um, let's, let's start. Let's start. This is really awesome. Um, okay. Um, stop motions. Yeah. Um, uh, I've, got, I've actually had some ideas for stop motion and like um, little action scenes with the figures um, that I just haven't been able to uh, to do just because of time constraints. Okay, uh, I'm going to start. Uh, first of all, a lot of uh, a lot of this stuff uh, is uh, thanks to. Uh, one person in particular who sent a lot of it, uh, Mike Lopez, has sent a ton of this stuff. Uh, he, ever since I got the um, Defiant, he's been sending me parts of the Defiant. Um, so uh, I got to make a special thanks to Mike Lopez. He has sent a ton of stuff this month. Uh, and he also sent something that was very special that doesn't have anything to do with the Defiant, but uh, there are a ton of Defiant parts in here. So I am going to... Uh, open something uh, that um, that wasn't sent by Mike. I want to I want to show you this first. All right, um, this was sent by Isaac, and I don't know if uh, if he wanted me to use uh, his. I I should probably be careful about using people's full names. Not everybody wants to have their their full name on uh, on the show. Uh, so, but Isaac sent this to me. Uh, and this is pretty special. And this does have something to do with the Defiant. Um, it is in a uh, VHS cassette um, uh, case, but it's not a VHS tape. Um, and uh, I've, there's uh, some uh, literature, the Live the Adventure. Um, okay. Uh, what's in here, though, is really cool. 
It's two action figures, actually. There we go. Yeah. And wait, wait. You might think of oh, where are the file cards? Yep, that's hardtop and hardtop and payload. Uh, they are uh, not quite complete. Um, the uh, I got the, the the backpack for payload. Uh, the microphone for hardtop is a repro, uh, but as, as you may know, those the real ones are very hard to come by. Um, and I've got the backpack, and I've got two uh, reproduction uh, controller arms. Oops, uh, two repro controller arms for that. However, um, among the extra bits of my Defiant, I found a one of the non-repro original uh, controller arms floating at the bottom of a plastic bag. Uh, and this one, I'm pretty confident, is the genuine article. So uh, that is amazing. How's that to start it out? Um, this, um, the help that I've been getting uh, on the Defiant has been uh, overwhelming. Uh, just incredible. Um, and, you know, when I got the Defiant, I knew it was, it's a fixer-upper, you know, it needs quite a bit of, quite a few parts. But with as much Defiant stuff has been coming to me, um, I still don't know that I can finish it by January, but it's going to be a lot closer than I thought to being done and ready by January. So thank you, Isaac, for that. And, and the file cards. Uh, that, that's, that's really, really kind of you. Um, there has been... I have a system here. Um, that's the stuff that I'm going to open. And when I, after I open it, I'm going to put it over on this side. Uh, so try to... Stack these in a way so that I have room. Um, I've gotten so much help with the Defiant that I have to do something special. Um, thank you, Ward M P J M. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, I've got to do something special. This is becoming like like the community's Defiant, like the, the core, like the shell of the vehicle. You know, I got, but so many parts are coming in that. Um, that it, it seems like it almost belongs to everybody because so many people are, are contributing. So I've got to find something special to do to repay everyone for this. Uh, this one I've, uh, is an, a part that was ordered for me by Mike Lopez. Um, and it's, uh, I think that's the front, or maybe the side. And then I think that's the, that's the front um, crawler windshield. Some of this may not seem very exciting to you because I'm just going to be showing you a bunch of parts. But if you've ever tried to complete a Defiant, you know how <laughs> how difficult it can be to find some of these parts. Uh, so to me, it's really exciting. But I do have some non-Defiant stuff to show you too. So tune in, stay, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Um, let's look at. Okay. This is. What is this? This is from Chris. Um, and this. Yeah, this is some, okay. Um, this is from Chris, and uh, he wrote me uh, a letter. It says, uh, Brian, I'm very excited to see how your Defiant will come together. Uh, I, too, built mine up from parts, if you remember. Yeah, I do. Uh, uh, this is Chris. Um, uh, I've uh, been a friend of the channel since almost the very beginning. Um, he says, you will take great joy and sometimes great heartache uh, in piecing together but when the day comes when you add that final piece, you will have a, an even greater appreciation and fondness of it uh, than, you had, uh, if, than if you had bought it complete. Uh, glad to add these parts to that journey, your friend always, Chris. So thank you, Chris. Um, and let me show you what parts he sent. Um, he sent uh, the revolving door and this thing, I don't remember what it's called. Um, and uh, this is one of the laser doors Hi, Red Hood. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, uh, we'll try to keep up with your comments as much as I can. And I'm sorry if I miss any of them. Um, there's door and and this guy. Um, pretty sure I remember where that goes. Uh, and this, oh, wait, there's one more. 
a couple more in here. Oh, that's one of the, the rocket cones. Uh, that's uh, one of the things for one of the seats. Uh, so we've got more Defiant parts, and thank you, Chris. Uh, and Chris, uh, if you see seen this, um, uh, you know who you are, and uh, you know how much I appreciate uh, uh, your, uh, your kindness, uh, and uh, I enjoyed meeting you at JoeCon, so thank you very much. Uh, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. What shall we do now? I'll show you one that I got today just came in today uh this this is incredible um this is from uh michael um in the uk uh, i really should have asked people if i could give their full name you know on the show but uh but so since i didn't i'll just try to use uh, first names or screen names if uh, if i know what they are uh, this was totally unexpected um he sent me today from the united kingdom I don't know if, okay, let me do this carefully, because it's cardboard, it is, uh, hey, Robert, hey, uh, thank you, thank you for subscribing, uh, Robert, I'm glad that you are here. Um, this is the uh, Action Force headquarters, there's the instructions on the back, this is the cardboard headquarters for um, Palatoy Action Force, uh, and this is freaking amazing hello straight down descent um i th this action force stuff I, I, I this is i've said this before and i'll reiterate this is like legendary to me i, I i've of course i've seen pictures i've seen other people's reviews of this stuff um but to actually see it is something i never thought i would do uh, i never thought that would happen um, and it's it's mostly here. It's it uh, it's not 100% complete, uh, but uh, Michael said that he would uh, send me parts as he finds them. Um, but it does also have some of the plastic pieces to it. Um, and this I mean this just solidifies that uh, I need to do another Action Force review. Um, I, I just have to. I've got so much uh, Action Force now uh, that I just it would be. A waste if if I didn't. I, I really need to get this stuff in front of the camera and do something with it. Um, so uh, thank you for that, Michael. I'm gonna have to pack this away carefully. This is it's made of of well, it's, it is cardboard, but it's like that thick thick cardboard. It's a bit more sturdy than some of the cardboard playsets that we got here in the U.S. Um, so I'm going to carefully slide this back into the envelope. Um, and uh, Michael sent me, let's see. Thank you everyone for showing up, by the way. I, I appreciate this. Um, I'm gonna try to uh, start making this um, a regular thing. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. I, I, I also unsubscribe to myself after the Heat Viper review, so I, I, I understand. Um, um, Okay, uh, Michael wrote, um, this was my favorite Action Force toy as a kid. I thought you'd enjoy seeing it face-to-face. -face. Uh, sorry it isn't complete, um, but it's hard to find the plastic components. Um, I'll send you them uh, if I find them. Good luck putting it together. Uh, thanks for the awesome channel. Thank you, Michael. Um, this was completely unexpected. So awesome. And um, I'll try to, uh, when I have a minute, put it together uh, so that um, I can show... What it looks like assembled, at least as as assembled as I can get it with those parts. Uh, so that's yeah, that came today, and that just totally blew my mind. Um, let's let's look at some other stuff. Um, uh, okay. Uh, all right. This is okay. This I believe this is um, another defiant part. If I should have some of these I've opened but some of them I haven't so oh yeah yeah okay this is uh, and this this would be from Mike Lopez again uh, this is uh, this is both of the windscreens for the uh, crawler uh, on the defiant um, so I, I think he actually ordered two of these in order to get both of them. So, uh, so thank you for that. That's uh, um, 
I've been waiting. I haven't put any of these uh, on uh, on the Defiant yet because I've been waiting because I wanted to show you. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Mike Lopez is the same guy, if you will recall, that uh, sent me the um, the two-handle bazooka for Zap, which made the Zap review possible. Uh, I look like a Pepsi commercial. Okay, okay. All right, this is more Defiant parts, but it's from somebody uh, somebody else. This is from Tim, um, and just look what he did with the box. This is cool. It came like this. And that, that, that's nice. That's a, uh, I like the extra touch there. Um, and I, uh, I worked up a trade with Tim uh, to... Um, uh, I sent him some of my extra figures, and he sent these to me. Um, and he says, uh, "Hello, HCC. I hope these parts get you uh, closer, get you closer to finishing the Defiance, sir. I, I never had a shuttle, but somehow ended up with parts from uh, collections. Uh, I, uh, or me and my son, can't wait for the review. Me too. Um, keep the videos coming, sir. And yo, Joe. Uh, thank you very much, Tim. Um, so." Uh, yes, uh, uh, Range Viper, um, I will be posting uh, update pics, uh, and also I need to, um, I need to update the, uh, the, the parts list. Uh, that's another thing I haven't done yet. Um, yeah, well, we're going to go into outer space, Tony, so I think if you go into outer space, there's always a danger of Lobotomac showing up. Um, you know, that's, he lives there. Um, so we have... Um, Sorry. Okay, this is good. Uh, we got we got one of the red guns, um, and and I don't remember what this piece goes to. I don't remember. It will come back to me. But uh, anyway, we got uh, that piece. Uh, one of the red guns. Uh, we got. We got one of these radiators, and Mike Lopez actually sent me a couple of these. Um, so I have some extra parts, and I'll probably be uh, looking to trade some. Um, and so uh, um, uh, the duplicate parts are not a problem because I may be able to trade for some of the parts that I'm missing. Uh, and then we got a just whole bag here of, uh, of extra parts. Um, I think that's the center fin there and some uh, just some of the red plastic parts uh, so um, I won't open that because I don't want them all to all fall out um, but thank you for that Tim and we are going to keep working and finish um, finish building our defiant because that's it's becoming our defiant now Hey, Max Rebo's Ghost Music, thank you for staying. I'm glad you made it, and it gives me an opportunity to thank you again for all those 90s figures that you sent. Uh, so thank you. Um, now this, uh, let's see, this should be more Defiant Parts. Uh, this is from... Uh, Ike! Okay, it's from Ike. Uh, it says, uh, Dear Mr. Lauer, hello there. I have enjoyed your channel for a few years now. Thank you for sticking around that long. I appreciate it. He says, welcome. Oh, very nice to done and informative. Welcome to the Defiant Club. I hope you will accept these, uh, this guy's um, to pilot such an awesome set. Uh, sorry for the repro parts. Uh, wait a second. This goes, oh, hey, this goes with the other thing. I'm sorry. I got, uh, I got uh, this letter mixed up. The, the one that was from Isaac, that's this one. Uh, that, the one in the, uh, uh, the VHS cassette. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, uh, yeah, the the the, uh, the two figures. I'm sorry, I read the 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 uh, letter out of order. Uh, one thing that I do though with all of these letters that you send to me, I keep all of them. Um, the parts will go, you know, where they need to go. I'll put them on the defiant. But anything that you write to me, uh, like in a letter form, uh, I keep that, um, and I'm saving that. Um, I don't want to lose any of those things. Um, this is one of the rods uh, that goes to what? Um, it, these rods go to, um, I want to say the, the gantry doors. Um, these, uh, the gantry doors hinge on these. Uh, so that is, 
uh, cool. And I believe uh, Mike Lopez is the one that ordered that for me, so thank you. Yeah, the gantry doors, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, the... Um, uh, I, w I was thrilled that uh, Joe Berg got... Um, thank you, Tony. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, yes, uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to be really cautious. Um, the uh, I was thrilled that Joe Berg got theirs, um, but since we were all going to be together uh, in Chattanooga for JoeCon, I was hoping that the, they might uh, help me inspect... Um, you know, any defiance that I found there so that I could make sure to get a good one um, and see, you know, what parts might be missing. Uh, so, um, but then, you know, after, you know, arranging that and then I didn't find any. Uh, there were some defiance there, but they all sold before I could get a crack at them. I'm sorry, was there a question? Ah. Okay, this is what was in the tube, ladder. So uh, this uh, would go with the um, the elevator part. I, you know, I wrote down all the names of these parts, uh, but that doesn't that doesn't mean I remember them. Uh, I know what they are. I, I know what they go to, uh, but the, they all have uh, names. I, I took I used the names that were in the the blueprints. Um, uh, repro, okay, uh, Dale, uh, does it matter if you have repro pro part, uh, for some uh, hard to get, uh, you don't really care. Uh, you know, if I were just restoring it for me, uh, for display, uh, I wouldn't care. Um, since I'm doing it for a review, I, I, I will try to have, um, the real parts, uh, if possible. Uh, hang on, the dog wants inside, let me let the dog in. Right back. Hey, come on. Okay, that's exciting stuff, isn't it? Okay, hey, we got 76 people watching. Hey, that's awesome. Hey, next time it's going to be more entertaining, guys. No kidding. Uh, I'm new at this. I'm new at this. Um, yeah, the, the elevator. These words that, uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, this is, okay, this is not, okay, let's, I want to go ahead and go through the defiant parts because I've been itching to open these and show you because I want them to put, I want to put them on the defiant. I haven't, I've been holding some of these for almost a month so I can show you guys, um, but I'm ready to put them on. I want to put them on the vehicle. Um, will the mobile command center be the next item, uh, I do, um, that was an option. I was one I was thinking about. Uh, so that's a definite maybe. Of course, I can't tell you definitely because it's always got to be a surprise. Um, Archangel, hello. Uh, yes, like Christmas. Um, this is like the oh, it's upside down. One of the elevator parts. The elevator goes here. Um, and I believe these parts actually connect to the gantry doors, which I don't have yet. Uh, and those, will, I'll probably have to invest myself in getting those. Uh, yeah, uh, the MCC uh, is definitely on the list. Uh, it's it, it's got to be one of the big first of the year reviews, right? It, it's just too big uh, for just a regular run of the mill during any given week review. It's got to be something special. It's got to be a special review for the MCC. I just don't know if it'll be the first of the year this year, um, but it's it's a, very much a possibility. Uh, my hope was to have the Defiant ready, um, but even though I think the Defiant's going to be close, I don't think it's going to quite um, cross the finish line. Excuse me, before um, uh, before January first. And since I'm having a Pepsi for our live stream, I will be belching my way through the entire thing. So sorry about that. Uh, next uh, will be next big one will be the Swamp Masher. Yeah, I do like it. Uh, it's it's lost like three Patreon polls already, but I like the Swamp Master. I know the colors are, are a little bit weird. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do that. And I'll just shoot it at an angle, like a like a low angle, so it looks big. Um, uh, thank you. 
uh, Viradius 71. I'm sorry if I mispronounce anyone's name. Uh, I'm from Oklahoma. Uh, we do not speak English well. So I just, I do the best I can. Um, okay, more stuff. All right. Now I showed you one. Yeah, payload and, I mean, it, like I said, if it were just for me and like just sitting on my shelf, I would be absolutely fine with repro parts and that like the hardtop um, repro microphone, fine. But, you know, since I'm doing it for a review uh, and since I'm going to be showing it super close up with an HD camera, I probably need to be patient and, and find uh, the the real one. Um, so that's that's one thing, uh, that's one reason why it's probably not going to be ready by January. But, but I'm going to try to get it as close to ready as I can. Um, Okay, uh, I, now this is actually, well, I don't know if I want to take it all the way out of the bubble wrap, but this is the, um, that elevator piece uh, for the other side. So there you go. Um, and that, these are both uh, Mike Lopez gifts, so thank you, Mike. In fact, maybe I should just dedicate, the, no, it, it, I, I want to dedicate the, um, uh, defiant review to everyone who helped, uh, and I'm keeping track. Um, and I, I'm gonna give everyone all the credit they deserve for all the help that they did with this. Um, it's been over. Like, you wouldn't believe it. I, I, I show up at work in the office, and there are two, three more boxes sitting there waiting for me. Almost every. Day. It's just incredible. Um, and I want to make sure. Everybody understands how much I appreciate it. I don't come on here and beg for help. I don't come on here and say, hey, send me stuff. Um, uh, I just, I appreciate your help. And I hope that uh, when you send something, you do feel like uh, it's something that the entire community can enjoy because I am going to share it. Uh, I'm going to put it on, um, um, put it on the show so that everybody can see it. Uh, and I, I certainly appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Um, uh, yeah, difficult. To, I'm sorry. Max Rebo's ghost music, music said it was difficult to integrate into his play scenarios. Yeah, I, I understand. I was like a Joe's in space kind of guy, big fan. Um, uh, anyway, but um, hold on. There we go. Um, yeah, I didn't do Joe's in space all that much. So um, that would have been not so easy for me as well. Um, I think maybe that's one that I can appreciate more now as an adult. Oops. Now as an adult. Um, yeah, sorry I didn't see you at JoeCon. I uh, saw a lot of people at JoeCon, but hey, you know, maybe there would be an opportunity in the, in the future. Um, uh, okay, let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, are we done with Defiant Parts? Not quite. Not quite. This is another Mike Lopez. I'm telling you, that guy has just been... Uh, keeping a steady flow of parts coming in. Hi, David. Yes, it's it's uh, peanuts. In, see, somebody else remembers peanuts in Pepsi. I'm not the only one. My dad turned me on to that, and I don't think he even does that anymore. He probably think I'm a little bit weird for continuing to do that. Um, this is the right and left fin for the uh, for the shuttle. Those fins <coughs> can be a little bit of a pain as they break. The tabs where they go in tend to, to break. Uh, so it's nice to have some intact fins. Uh, let's put them away carefully so they they so they don't break. <coughs> James, yeah. All right. Now, believe it or not, we uh, we had so many boxes when we started, but um, we're almost done. Once we get through the, this, then I, I would like to have some time just to sit and communicate with you guys, read your comments, um, and discuss. And maybe we maybe we, there's uh, some GI Joe news that we can discuss or something. We'll see. Um, okay, um, let's look at something that doesn't have anything to do with the Defiant. Uh, this is from Chuck. Um, I believe he goes by Pensive Ruin on uh, on YouTube, uh, and this is something that 
This is pretty special. This is the modern figure subscription service rock and roll. It's the modern version of basically version two of rock and roll. Hey, hey, yeah, there he is right there uh, in, in your comments. Uh, this is, um, sorry, I got mosquitoes. Um, this, uh, I, as I noted before, um, ah, geez, sorry. The, um, uh, my goal is to review every vintage uh, toy, U.S. domestic release vintage G.I. Joe toy, 1982 to 1994. And when that's done, my mission on this channel will be complete. And I've already announced that the last one that I will review, when it comes to that, uh, will be uh, Rock and Roll version 2, because that was my last figure uh, that I ever got. Uh, as a young person, um, that was my swan song with G.I. Joe. That was my exit. Uh, and uh, the first video that I ever did ah, on this channel was um, was Breaker, which was my first G.I. Joe figure uh, as a kid. So be nice uh, bookends to do my first and last. And there's the modern version, which I can look at um, in that review when the time comes which, by my reckoning, is still several years away. So, um, there's that. And so, thank you for that. Uh, it's got the accessories and file card in there. Uh, it's looking good. Uh, and I will try uh, to get some pictures of it. I'll put it all together. I'll try to get some pictures of it um, to put on uh, Facebook and Twitter. So, thank you for that. Uh, very thoughtful. And thank you for, for remembering that, that that's something that that I was going to do. That's going to be my eventual last review. Uh, so thank you, and uh, <clears throat> there's more. Uh, okay, somebody who uh, is a friend of the channel uh, who hasn't been doing very well has been having some medical issues. Uh, has been in the hospital for quite some time now. Uh, Byron Kellogg. He doesn't shouldn't mind me saying his full name because I have before. Um, with his, uh, he has got a, a YouTube channel, Joe Motion Videos 82, um, and um, uh, he recently, um, he recently, um, uh, do, do I have an eBay wish list? Uh, not yet. I should have one, uh, but I'm I'm very lazy and slow about these things. Um, anyway, Byron uh, recently celebrated uh, the first anniversary of his YouTube channel. Uh, and he sent me this, which is, oh, it's nicely packed. I'll, I won't take that. Well, yeah, I'll, I can take it off. Yeah, okay. It's the 1982 HAL heavy artillery laser. Uh, very nice, no stickers, um, it, so it's naked, but it's very in excellent, just excellent condition. All the parts are there. Uh, and that included, uh, where are you, where are they? Uh, it included the figure, which I, is in this box somewhere. Well, anyway, um, the, the figure's lost in the packing uh, material, but uh, he uh, also included um, Grand Slam with it, too. So uh, thank you, Byron. And uh, Byron, if you eventually watch this, uh, I hope you feel better. Um, I've been, you know paying attention to the videos that you posted from the hospital uh so um so thank you uh, uh thank you byron and get well soon uh david yeah i'm glad that uh that you found timmer i like timmer i really do i'm a, i'm a fan i'm a fan um okay what next what next um this oh 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 okay okay this is from uh brandon and there's a letter. Brandon writes, uh, Dear HCC788, I want to thank you for helping me get back into collecting G.I. Joe again. You're welcome. Uh, your show helped me remember why I fell in love with G.I. Joe. Um, I have so many memories with them. They also gave me great memories with my grandfather, who was a real G.I. Joe to me since he did serve in World War II. My grandfather did it as well. Um, enjoy the gifts and uh, to help the show. Uh, you have my permission.
my full name in the video. Okay, in that case, I will. See, he, he thought to give me permission to use his full name. So, uh, Brandon Knight, thank you for that. Um, and this is cool. And this, again, solidifies why... I, wanna, I don't want to lose the letter. Um, this, again, solidifies why I've got to do another Action Force review. It's Mr. Baron Ironblood himself. And this is complete. It's got the little Uzi submachine gun, and it's got his um, his helmet, which is not really a helmet. You know, I'd seen pictures of this, of course, because I researched. Um, yes, for Timmer. Hey, hey. Um, I, of course, I did research for it, and I, I saw pictures of the helmet, and I always thought it kind of looked funny. And now I really understand it. Um, it's basically kind of a soft vinyl. Thing. I don't want to. I don't want to damage it, but it's like a, a strip with a little loop and buckle. Let's see if we can do this. That's it. That's the helmet, and then it buckles. And until I had this in hand, this is why it's so cool to actually have these uh, Action Force items in hand, because until I had this in hand, I did not understand completely how uh, Baron Ironblood's helmet worked. Uh, let's carefully re-buckle that. And there is the man. Baron Ironblood. I, I just... I have... I, I love these um, early Action Force figures. They're just... They remind me of Star Wars, of course. And Star Wars was how I first got into action figures way back in 1977. Um, <laughs> did he run for uh, president in the UK? I don't know. Uh, let's see. And then, oh yeah, this, Brandon sent this as well. Hey, ODC, that's me. Hey, nice to see you. I like your channel. Thank you for stopping by. Um, and he got, we've got these uh, Action Force annuals uh, with comic books and uh, uh, mostly like reprints of the American comics. Um, Ty uh, Cyber Tiger, uh, Chris, uh, also sent me some Action Force comics, and I, I just love the Action Force comics. It is so cool to see that take um, on G.I. Joe. Uh, and even though I, even as a kid, I, ha I was aware of Action Force uh, because I did have a friend who lived in the UK for a while, and he came back, and we, we talked about it. He told me that they had Action Force there. I thought that was very interesting. But I didn't have an opportunity to actually see any of the toys as a, a kid. Um, and um, uh, and I certainly didn't have an opportunity to read any of the comic books. So um, it's, it's a special thrill to me. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. Um, it's a special thrill to me to be able to actually see these things, which... We're, we're only myth and legend for most of my my life. Um, we have 86 people in here. That is so cool. 87 now. This is working out pretty well. I'm pretty happy. Uh, we got um, we got more. We got more. Hold on. Okay. Oh, I don't want to lose that. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Um, Defiant part, uh, this would be, f um, yeah, this is another one from uh, from Mike Lopez that he ordered for me. Um, it goes with those uh, elevator sections. Uh, and Hey, Josiah. Um, can I kick that, um, man? Okay, well, anyway. Um, from Mike Lopez, a couple more parts. That radiator. Nylon Mills sounds like a punk rock band. You know, I might keep the guy around just because he does have a pretty decent punk rock band name. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Defiant Parts, uh, thank you, Mike. Um, I am going to, as soon as possible, get these on the Defiant so I can show you guys how it's looking. Um, now, I've got some uh, reading material here uh, that is essentially really awesome. Um, 
Wait, let me show you this. Wait, uh, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Am I missing something? I think I'm missing something. There's something I was going to show you, and it's not here. I may have to go get it. You may have to wait. Uh, all right, hang on. Uh, let's see here. I got to make sure to kick the right person. Uh, no, no, I don't want to add moderator. All right. Okay, anyway. All right. That conversation was derailed. Uh, okay. Um, let's see here. There's something that I know I have. Uh, all right, but let's look at this. This, uh, all right, this is cool. All right, this this is a little different. Um, what are my impressions of the modern rock and roll? Um, I think that it's, um, it, I understand what they were going for. Um, I need to like put them together to uh, to really uh, see if how well they kind of updated and um, uh, modernized that that version two look. Um, so I, I, I I'm withholding judgment for now, but but I'm gonna put it together. I'll get some pictures and I'll give a better impression of it. Uh, David, I don't have the MCC yet. Uh, yeah, I did notice he only comes with one gun, um, the one Gatling gun. Now, version two of Rock and Roll was like, maybe had too many guns. He's like, was got guns hang, hang, hanging everywhere, like pegged to his leg and everything. Um, okay, now here's something that's cool that I got to tell you. Um, there is a guy uh, that wants to uh, be a sponsor of the show. This is a new thing for me. I've never had that happen before. Um, I've done, I've run uh, ads for people uh, like podcasts and things that, you know, are friends and things, pe things that I enjoy and I want you guys to see. Uh, but this guy wrote a book and it's a really cool book. It's a really good book. And he would like for me to, um, to uh, uh, show it on the show. So he sent me a copy of it um, by E. Thomas Joseph, um, Winter Eternal. And so this is a copy that he sent me and I will be talking with you guys more about this in the future. Uh, so that's pretty neato, and he sent the, oh he sent some he sent some GI Joe comics with it too. Uh, uh, you know it's awfully difficult to uh, moderate and do the live stream at the same time. So uh, let me see what I can do here. There. Let's try that. Okay. Okay, now. Uh, and... There. Okay, that should take care of that troll. I think, uh, I think that should do it. Um, okay, now. Uh, let's see. We're not done. We're not done. Oh, here's the thing I was looking for. This, hey, this is something that I won from somebody else's uh, YouTube channel. This, you have to see this. Uh, this guy uh, goes by uh, Kickley. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, who does, make sure I do this right. Um, he, does a, he has a YouTube channel where he does artwork, right? And it's really neat. He'll show you how to do it. Um, and he's got this comic book that he did. Published by Im Image Comics. And he did you know, a random drawing, and I entered it, and I won. Uh, and this is really neat. Uh, it's it's uh, full color. It's got some really cool artwork in there. Um, and he also sent this, which is his book. Um, it's also got some of his artwork in it, um, and so uh, that that was really uh, I was unexpected. Um, but uh, and even though it's not like something somebody just you know sent to the channel, it's something I won. I still wanted to show you. It was really cool. Um, so uh, after I'm done with the live stream, I'll try to um, get the link and I'll put the link in the description uh, so you can go find his channel. 
Uh, so that's really cool. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, and, um, okay, we are down to, I think we're down to the last thing. We're down to the last thing. It's another Mike Lopez thing, but it's not a uh, defiant part. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, that guy, what he said. Okay, last thing. Once I get this done, then we can just kind of sit down and talk, right? We can sit down and talk. Okay, Mike sent this to me. This is neat. You ready to see it? Okay. Here it is. It's the Sea Ray. It's still in the box. Look. There's the sea slug still entombed in his plastic coffin. It's sealed. Um, I, I didn't have this. Um, and uh, Mike uh, essentially kind of uh, insisted that I open it and assemble it. Uh, and, uh, you know, you, you meant in sealed box, guys. You know, I understand, you know, that might make you a little twitchy. But he insisted. So I, I feel like I have to do it. Uh, so uh, this helps because, um, because I didn't have one. Uh, loose or otherwise, um, so it uh, it checks off something that I needed, uh, and it's just it's I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna open it not right now, but you know yeah, uh, yeah there you go, this is the last item, uh, and uh, I wanted to show you guys, so that's it that's that's the unboxing for the month uh, that was a lot, um, I, I think I got to everything. If, if you send something to me and I didn't get to it, I apologize. I'll find it and I'll put it into the next one. You know, send me an email or something to say, hey, you forgot the thing I sent. Uh, but I, I think I got everything. I, I hope I did. So, um, anyway, so now we're done with that. Um, how you doing? Doing all right this evening? The sea ray is cobra is shark. Yeah, it's kind of basic, same basic idea. All right. So, um, so thank you to everyone uh, who sent all of that stuff. That's far more than I've ever received in a single month before. Um, and I want to take this opportunity to make sure everybody knows, again, that you do not have to send me anything. I don't ask for it. Um, that's not why I do this. Uh, I do this for the enjoyment of it, and I do it because it gives me an opportunity to connect with you guys uh, and to we can build a stronger community together. Uh, we can build friendships together, um, and that that's what motivates me to do this, not, not to get free things. But um, in as much as you've been able to help me out uh, and help me complete things and get things ready to review, um, you, you've helped the, ca the channel grow and you've helped the channel move forward. Uh, and I, I want to make sure that everybody understands how grateful I am for that. So, uh, thank you to everyone. Uh, do I have any Hasbro contacts, um, info on the new G.I. Joe stuff? I don't have any direct Hasbro contacts. Um, I know people who do, but, um, since I'm mostly a vintage guy, uh, Hasbro probably doesn't think they, um, uh, they probably don't think that I'm all that important in the grand scheme. Uh, they probably um, prefer somebody who is going to, you know, review the new stuff coming out. And that's okay. That's okay. Hey, uh, Jed, uh, it's actually cooling down, actually. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I've got a Pepsi. It's not cold anymore, but I got it. Hey, it's the Human Mechanism. Hey, how you doing? Uh, Non-G.I. Joe ve uh, vehicles you're a fan of. I noticed you have the AB-115. Uh, yes, I have that. Uh, and that's probably the number one non-show vehicle that comes to my mind that I think is great. Um, that's, I mean, I've been, I got that and I wanted to review it and I just haven't found the opportunity to uh, get it on, on camera. Um, I think that it's, you know, as kind of a substitute G.I. Joe vehicle, I think it's, it's really cool and amazing. But I also think what's, uh, cool and interesting, I guess I should say, is like 
the cost cutting that they did to make it affordable. Uh, and those things are kind of interesting to me too. Um, oh, oh yeah, uh, I'll just box up that stuff, Max, and send that back to you. Uh, but, but for serious, Max Rebo's Ghost Music, man, that, that, you, you helped the channel take a giant leap forward with just that box. That was something. Um, uh, and, and I apologize if I'm, I'm itchy. I've, I've got mosquitoes out here and I'm probably going to get malaria, so that's great. We're almost at about an hour. And I intended to try to keep it at about an hour, but we'll keep it going a little bit longer uh, just because I want to see who all shows up and uh, see what you had to say. Um, uh, planning to review Joe exclusives uh, like Sears, uh, Cat SMS, Vamp, and Hal. The answer is yes. Uh, I will, I'll get the Sears exclusive. I'm already working on that. Uh, I already got one of them, but uh, I'm, I'm working on that. Um, so yes, that is within the scope. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get those. Some of those are hard to find. But, I don't know, if you're persistent, some of them, even though they, they are hard to find, you can find them. You can find them. Um, thank you, Archangel. Um, yeah, Human Mechanism, that was just neat. You, the video that you did for Virgins, that was just cool. Um, uh, I was impressed, uh, and I just, it was fun to watch. So thank you for that. Thank you for doing that. Uh, sponsored by Pepsi. Um, so guys, um... I feel like things are going really well right now. Um, like, would you like to see me and uh, FormBX257 on screen? Man, me too. Um, that I would love to meet Kevin. Um, I, I loved Retro Blasting's video. Uh, I, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I only got hints. Uh, but they did like the whole story with, you know, uh, dramatic lighting and sp special effects and uh, it, they I thought they did a great job um, and it, what I appreciated is that I mean they didn't have to um, you know they they certainly didn't need to do it for the publicity uh, but they did it for fun and they did it you know for our community and uh, that was that was pretty special to me ah uh. I wish that were cold. That would be better. Um, uh, yeah, um, they killed Beachhead. Those bastards. Yeah, um... Yeah, uh, Michael French was very kind to me, so, uh, yeah, I, I was very happy uh, that they joined to begin with and that they produced something that cool. Let's uh, see, who's coming up next? I believe uh, Brian Shearer is next on the schedule and then uh, SEO Toyers, and I'm really excited to see both of them. Uh, Brian Shearer, I hope, is able to get uh, his done on time. I know he just got uh, from, you know, I hate to infringe on his... Um, time, uh, but he, you know, he wanted to do it, so I'm glad to have him on. Uh, SEO Toy Reviews uh, is is a legit, you know, toy review channel, uh, and so I'm looking forward to seeing what they come up with. Uh, yeah, Michael and Melinda, they they seem to be, you know, pretty solid, solid people. I'm personally fond of Beachhead, also. You know, this is probably going to be the hard part of the live stream is actually uh, figuring out when to stop because I could just keep doing this all night. I enjoy talking with you guys. Um, uh, Else, excited to see upcoming movie Welcome to Marwin. Yeah, that movie looked good to me. I'll, I'll go see it. I'll check it out. Uh, do you think a six-inch black series would sell for G.I. Joe? Um, I don't 
no, I ha I'm a little pessimistic about that. Um, uh, the the GI Joe collecting community, the 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 universe of people who would buy it, is a smaller universe than you know Star Wars fans, at least for right now. Uh, and so, are there enough people that would buy it uh, to really support a six-inch line? I, I don't know. I I'm a little pessimistic about it. Of course, now, if, I'm, if anything works, you know, I'm open to anything that works, and I'm, I'm happy to be proven wrong about that. Um, yeah. Yeah, you, you would have a hard time getting vehicles for six-inch figures. That's, and they'd be really expensive, too. Uh, the intro theme is, it, it's uh, music from a, a website that uh, has basically stock music. Um, so it's it's not technically mine, but it, it's, uh, I can use it with accreditation. So, uh, or, or, yeah, so, yeah, I, I'm no musician. Uh, do I collect modern Joes? Not actively, although uh, I've been sent a lot of modern Joes, a lot of them. So now, now I have a lot of them. I don't uh, specifically go out and to collect them. Um, I'm pretty, pretty much in the vintage camp, but I have enough modern Joes that I, you know, I know something about them, and you know, I, ha I have enough of them to get a pretty good idea of what I think about them and uh, what's good about them, you know, but. Um, but yeah, I, I, I mostly stick with the vintage, um, which I know makes my channel a bit niche. I've got a niche channel, uh, so, but, you know, the, I, I know there are a lot of vintage fans out there. Um, the Dino Hunter set, yeah, there's a guy who's been emailing me who has some ideas uh, for what to do on that, so i got to get with that guy when I actually get to it, the, to the Dino Hunters. Yeah, Dino Hunters. That was in G.I. Joe. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'll get to it. Not high on the priority list right now. Um, do a live stream watching the G.I. Joe movie. Hey, if I could, if I could, if I could get it past uh, content ID, uh, that would be fun. Uh, I'm, I'm supposed to be reviewing the G.I. Joe movie uh, this year. So that's coming up. Um, I still got to prepare for that, but there will be one week um, in the coming next few months, just a, a toy review. Um, I'll be reviewing the G.I. Joe 1987 animated movie. Um, for context, I thought it would be important to at least briefly look at the Transformers movie from 1986. So um, I'll, uh, I'll look at that too. Um, but uh, it, would be, it would be fun to, to riff to, to live riff the movie. I don't deny that. That would be fun to do. Uh, well, we've run an hour. Which figure am I not looking forward to the most that I'm not looking forward to? Uh, well, I tell you, the, um, it would be easy to say, you know, one of the aliens, and I'm definitely not looking forward to those. Uh, but there are some figures, I don't know if I can narrow it down to one, but there are some figures in 1993 that are essentially just repeats of, of earlier figures, but not done as well. And with those generic accessories and all that. So that's going to be a slog, and I'm not looking forward to that. I don't know if I can narrow that down to one figure, but, you know, just go look at the 93 lineup. And there was some good stuff in 93. I'm not denying that there was good stuff in 93. There was, but there was also just a lot of kind of feels like filler in 1993. Just, they had to be peg warmers, I, I would assume. But a lot of figures from 93 seem like they were just filler. Um... So yeah, that's got to be my answer to that. There's 93 is going to be tough, tough year. Hi Dave. Um, 
<laughs> to Steve. Uh, you know, my middle name is Steven, uh, which I think is funny because Timmer didn't know that when he nicknamed me Steve. But that sort of is my name. Sort of. These fans. And there was some decent stuff in 93. But, hmm. Wilbur's not a bad name. And Wilbur was the name of that pig, you know, in uh, Charlotte's Web. You should be proud of that. It's a work of literature. Named after a literature pig. Wilbur. It was Wilbur, right? Anyway, yeah. Uh, something like that. Uh, somebody famous was named Wilbur. I'm pretty sure. As long as my thumbs and crotch remain unbroken, we're doing all right. Um... He was some pig. Um, hello, Chili. That's right, yeah. Uh, Mr. Ed. That was Wilbur, isn't it? See? The name Wilbur has a long and noble history. Yeah, see? It's a good name. It's a proud name. Wilbur. Uh, what's your top G.I. Joe figure? Uh, it's... Uh, I always go back to the Swivel Arm uh, Stalker, version 1.5. Um, it's, it may not, it's, it's not. It's not, like, objectively speaking, the best figure. But it's the figure that means the most to me. Uh, the Armor Bot? Yeah, that would be a good toy for, a. Uh, uh, first of the year review. I don't have it. I've seen a few of them. I keep passing on it because I tend to run, find them incomplete, and I'm never sure if I can find the mis find parts to complete it. That one seems a little bit harder to uh, harder to, to complete. The no the the uh, the version the, from 1983. Not not the kayak version. Not version two, uh, but the swivel arm version 1.5. Uh, that's the figure I have the most memories with. Um, tripwire, Listen and Fun. You know, had my eye on a few Listen and Fun tripwires lately. It's, um, haven't pulled the trigger yet, but it's, it's on my list. Um, do I communicate with Form BX or are we rivals? Definitely not rivals. I love Kevin, and Kevin is great. Actually, Kevin's going to be in uh, the next review, the one coming up on Sunday. Um, I love Kevin, and he I, I love working with him. Um, um, Kevin Kevin is always uh, sometimes, or not always, sometimes uh, has a little difficulty, you know, getting messages, uh, but um, he does get back with me. Um, and when I need something from him, he actually gets back with me really quickly. Um, and, um, you know, all I, he is, a, he is so easy to work with. All I have to do is say, you know, hey, I, I, I need this for the project, and he'll have it done the same day. Um, he is great. I love Kevin. FormBX257 is still probably my favorite channel. Um, I wouldn't be doing this without what he has done. Uh, I think he's great. Uh, Sanitarium Productions. I like, I like, um, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Sanitarium Production uh, does good work, too, and I do try to keep up with them as well. Um, bat review. Uh, when will I do the, the bat? Oh, I'm, one thing I'm still trying to get for the bat review, and that is uh, the color variant, the, the bright yellow one. When I get that, then we'll be ready. Uh, looking forward to that. I've got some ideas about it. I, I like Kevin, and Kevin is, like, genuinely a, a really great guy. Um, he's, uh, I mean, behind the scenes, you know, just regular back-and-forth communication. Really great guy. I, I can't think of any negative about Form BX257 at all. Every, I think every interaction with them has been positive. Uh, great, great guy. Um, 
All right, well, guys, I think it is about time to wrap it up. Uh, we've been going for an hour and ten minutes, um, so I will uh, I'll say good night to you guys. Um, uh, I've got a lot of stuff to carry in. Um, yeah, Canadian. That's that's it. That's it. Um, so um, thank you all for showing up. Uh, thank you for uh, watching this unboxing. Thank you to everyone who sent things to me. Um, and if I missed anything that you sent to me, um, I apologize. Let me know and I will fix it. But I think I got to everyone. Uh, I'm going to work now on um, putting the Defiant together uh, and uh, putting things away where they belong and finishing up the next video. That's actually something I've got to work on tonight. So uh, thanks everyone. Uh, I will switch this off now and we will do it again next week. I will see you uh, next Tuesday and don't forget to watch the other Cobra Convergence videos. We got uh, Brian Shearer, we got uh, SEO Toy Reviews, and we got Mr. 1013 still coming up. Don't miss those. Uh, I will see you all later um, and good night.